technology does not have the potential to hurt the marine environment. One way I'm going to show you is with these poor innocent goldfish. And I don't know if Briny Clark is here somewhere. She came by earlier and she was appalled that I hadn't named the goldfish. So this is bit and this is bot, apparently. But uh, they've been through half a dozen of these this week. I've had some goldfish in my office that have lived seven years going through these on a very regular basis. The reality of it is it's... Good it's afternoon. Those delegates that have pre-ordered maps from GP Info and have not picked them up, they are reminded that they have So the LNG is lighter than water, it can't penetrate the surface of the water, and it also, um, thank you, it's also uh, has no hydrocarbons in it other than the natural gas itself. So you'll see that there's no sheen, it's just slightly colder water, it'll leave a little bit of ice on the surface. So I'm going to show you in a couple ways, I figure anything you'll do to a poor innocent, innocent goldfish you ought to be willing to do with yourself, I think. Not sure if I said that well, um, but here's what's left of the LNG. It's just simply cooled the surface of the water, much like it has with this water. So you'll see no sheen whatsoever. It's just cool, clean water. And I'm so sure of that, I'm willing to drink most of it. And I used to just take a sip, but we were in Australia in October all over the country doing this, and a guy said, Oh, a bloke will take a sip of just about anything to prove a point, so. <laughs> so I drink a little bit more now. <laughs> and uh, we are very strictly regulated. Um, I've been on the regulatory side as well in this business, which makes my end of the business very easy because there's very strict regulations. We're regulated essentially like uh, a nuclear facility, if you will, on the training and um, emergency response requirements. So we train our folks with live LNG fires, although it's never happened. Um, we want them to know how to handle those issues if they come up. And then our operators have essentially, um, although it's a trade, they have essentially an associate's degree. It takes them two years to get through the training program. So it's very strict. Um, some of the facts we enjoy, we have an enviable safety record. Even if you compare it to things like food service, we have a very impressive safety record. There's never been an LNG-related shipboard fatality on an LNG vessel. There's only been two fatalities globally in regas facilities in the history of LNG. There's only been, there hasn't been an LNG-related fatality in the U.S. in over 26 years. LNG is non-flammable. It's too rich to burn. You saw me looking for the sweet spot of the natural gas. It's non-toxic, non-corrosive, and it will not explode. When exposed to air, I showed you with the balloon how quickly the vapors will dissipate and rise. Everything in an LNG facility is built at a 9% nickel steel, stainless steel. It's a very narrow ignition spectrum and a high ignition temperature. So the reason you can't smoke when you fill up your vehicle with petrol, and I know I've been calling it gasoline, but it's hard for me to adapt that quickly. Um, gasoline ignites around 246, petrol, I'm sorry. Diesel is the same. Um, propane's a little higher at 454. Natural gas is the highest, has the highest ignition temperature of the common hydrocarbons. So I can get this between um, 400 and 427 Celsius, the cigarette. And I know I can put it out in the vapors, even though somewhere in here is the 5 to 15 percent because the ignition temperature is 540. I always say I don't smoke, but the more of these demos I give, the more I want to give. Give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Again, somewhere in here is the 5 to 15 percent, and I can extinguish it in the LNG. So that doesn't mean a lot to you, and that's cold, not hot, I promise. But it means an awful lot to firefighters when they're fighting a fire of other liquid hydrocarbons. Um, usually something in that pool or that structure has reached the ignition temperature of, if it's petrol, um, 246. But it's very difficult with a natural gas fire, particularly off of LNG, to get something in that structure to the 540 degrees Celsius. Typically, they can extinguish the fire, and then they have a vapor management um, exercise, which they train for in advanced LNG firefighting. 
and that's required by the code as well. So I can take questions and uh, I'm happy to do so, but first I need a two female and two male volunteers. You're actually going to uh, prove how quickly natural gas vaporizes off of LNG because you're going to taste it. You need to stop hiding back there, young lady. <laughs> Come on back here. Very good. I already got you once. Come on forward. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to dip this in the LNG. And you're going to pick it up from the corner where I'm not dipping it. And then I'm going to give it a little test here to make sure it's ready for you. And then just kind of eat half the cracker if you can pick it up from this corner where I didn't dip it. And it won't hurt you, it's just, uh, I'm very cautious. That corner, that corner. And slowly exhale as you're eating the cracker. Take a big bite and slowly exhale. <laughs> And what you... <laughs> what you find is that it's evaporated immediately. It's a little colder. And of course, you have water vapors again from the coldness of the cracker. The reason we do that is to prove how quickly the LNG dissipates. And you all deserve a great big hand, so thanks for coming up. <laughs> Any questions? Okay, very good, I've done my job. Yes, sir. Uh, dry chemical typically is what we use for most fires. And then in our containment near the larger vessels, we can use high expansion foam and then dry chem to sort of clean it up. What the high expansion foam does is takes the vaporization rate down and then it's easier to knock the flame down on the bigger fires. But on most of the smaller fires, when we train, we train with 10,000 gallon fire pits and we put those out with a 20 pounder. I don't know how many kilograms that is, but it's the smaller extinguishers. And to compare that with gasoline, it takes two firefighters with 30 pounders to put out the same amount of fire. So it's pretty responsive with dry camp. Well, thank you very much for coming. Appreciate it.